Uh, we would have a commercial for uh, 10 minutes. Kansas City is paid Cleveland. <laughs> Getting all this from Chucky, you just how come we don't get it? <laughs> We're getting it. <laughs> all right. Back live at Shea Stadium, this is Don Cricky with Nick Bonacani. Sonny Jurgensen set now for the start of the fourth quarter. The Jets extending their lead to 23 to 10 over the Cardinals. Leahy kicks off. He's now scored 66 points this season, tying his own career high and eclipsing the 63 scored in 14 games last year. He's the leading scorer in the National Football League. He just hit a 45-yard field goal, and this kickoff by Leahy resulting in a touchback, and the Cardinals will go on offense first and 10 at their 20. 15 field goals this season for Leahy. 15 of 17. And the two that he's missed have been outside the 50. Gary Premium would be proud of those numbers. The big thing is he gets the ball up. Balls aren't being blocked. They're not line drive shots. They're good trajectory. Talked to him before the game. He said he did a lot of heavy weight training. Strengthen his legs this offseason. Pizarkowitz drops to throw, puts it up nicely as tight end Chandler has his first reception of the day and gets ahead for a first down. That was a well-thrown ball, Sonny. Finding a little hole in the zone there. Chandler just settles down right in the middle. He had good prote pass protection again. You see it from the quarterback's position. You see how open Chandler is. Just settled down, got stationary in between the linebackers. Nothing wrong with Al Chandler as a tight end, except he was behind Russ Francis. And the other fellow, the six foot eight tight end from New England, his name escapes me. That would be the big guy from Colorado. Here's a free football. Back to the 30 yard line. Little mix up then of who he wanted to give it to, whether or not he was going to give it to Steve Jones or Jim Otis. Right now, I think you ought to go with the bomb to Gray. Gray was open. It's been open two or three times. One time he dropped it. The other two were thrown behind him. So it's not the fact that he's not getting open. Turdell Middleton scored for the Green Bay Packers. He's been scoring a lot lately. That game's tied 7-7. Kozakowicz fires. Mel Gray is open. And Mel Gray moves ahead. On a second and 15 play, he got back about 12, 13 yards out to the 43 yard line. Ed Taylor, one of the cornerbacks, 38, hit him. They've taken the starting free safety for the Jets, Burgess Owens, to a local hospital to have his shoulder x rayed. He was hurt in the first half. There's Mel Gray. This is the greatest experience that Steve Pasarkowicz could have. Being behind in a game 23 to 10, 10, throwing the ball under pressure. They know you have to throw the football. That's when you learn how to throw the football. He looks like a major league player up against the pressure, swings it out. And Wayne Morris had the ball for a moment, then lost it. That was a third down play. Greg Buttle was covering. I don't agree with this, Sonny. I think they ought to go for it. They have no momentum right now, zero momentum. The defense has been playing an awful lot for the Cardinals. Fourth down and one and a half. 13 04 to play, though, Nick. You know, and they don't I get know. it, they're out of the game. Don, the, the game is momentum, though. It really is. And if uh, if you're lacking the momentum and you're really not doing anything positively, you have to change that. And sometimes you just have to take a chance. Well, they're not going to. Fourth down and three, and Jim Bakken is in for the injured Steve Little to punt for the Cardinals. Go! 
Bakken hits it not too deep downfield. Gets a little bit of a cardinal roll. Now a good cardinal roll. And Bakken has acquitted himself quite nicely as a punter here. He's getting a good roll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, the Jets go back on offense. They're in command of the game right now, 23 to 10, but we've got a long way to go. Almost 13 minutes. We'll be back in a moment. His third. Would you have gone for it? Would you have gone for it? Behind 13 points? Well, third down call was a bad call. They run a play action pass to one guy. Yeah, yeah. I think Pollard's about the only guy who's getting any sort of a pass rush at all, number 82. But I don't think they're gonna they're not gonna throw the football here, uh, Marvin. No, no, no. If you want, you know, if you want to isolate on a on a linebacker, I would isolate on 55. Some Williams. weeks should give some back, Sonny. The Jets offensive unit, which has rallied around Matt Robinson, the backup quarterback who had a step in just as Steve Pazarkowitz has had to do for the Cardinals for the injured Jim Hart. Richard Todd went down some games ago for the Jets, and Robinson has proved himself a winning quarterback as the Jets now looking to go for their third consecutive win, something they've not done in about five years. And here's a handoff to Durking. He's knocked down. They'll be looking to run the clock, I think, Nick, now the 13-point lead. Well, they're not going to do anything foolish here, Don. I would, you know, they're not going to put the ball up uh, anything short. If they're going to do anything, they'll throw deep to Wesley Walker because it's almost like a punt. The other thing uh, they might do is right now is draw or screen. I feel Walt Michaels feels his lead is comfortable, and he's going to try to protect it. Second down and 12 coming up now for the Jets. Clark Gaines runs the ball, and the Cardinals are there to whack him down. He got two or three yards, and the hits were hard from the outside linebacker Steve Niels in his fifth year for Minnesota, and Mark Arneson in his seventh year from Arizona. Here goes the pass rushing core in. For the Cardinals, they like to put Yankowski in. And they take out two linebackers. And they also, Cowboys are ahead 14 to 0 over Philadelphia in the second quarter. Roger Stallback, 11 yard pass to Drew Pearson. Another great combination. Oh, isn't it? Although their offense has not been that productive, Cardinals pretty well shut it down last week. Here is Scott Durking on a third down and eight carry, fighting ahead to the 20 as the Jets. We'll be happy to keep that clock running and punt the ball. Yankowski made the tackle. Here's Mr. Durking hitting in there. 5'9", 218-pound fullback from Purdue. Coming off of a sprained ankle. They were trying to catch him, what you would call, you know, rushing the pass in this situation, taking an outside rush and split it up the middle. Cardinals played it very smartly and didn't go for it. Maybe they'll go for a block here on this punt. Willard Harrell, you just saw, 39, has been a spectacular return man in this game. They went for the block, all right. Excellent punt by Ramsey with a 79-yarder last week against Baltimore. Here comes Willard Harrell. So the Cardinals and Steve Pazarkowitz go back on offense, first and 10 at their 37-yard line. They'll be back with... 11 minutes and 39 seconds left to play in the game at Shea Stadium in New York. The Jets in the lead, 23-10. Nick, how good are the Jets? I think they're solid. Offensively, I really do. I I don't, I really don't see how about a weakness. How about defensively? Defensively, defensive line is just very average. Yes, they got yeah. to, yeah. He's so got here's the thing, Tilly, Tilly hasn't caught a ball all day, right? 
Tilly no. hasn't caught one, and uh, Gray's caught two. I guess he caught another one a few minutes ago. Yes. Oh, yeah, they got to go to him now. They don't have any choice. They're going to go to Tilly on this play. Th this is an important drive. I'm guessing Tilly. If he's in the game. <laughs> You know, they had a great play in the reverse, and this is the last time yeah. we've seen it. That's right. Well, they haven't had too many <laughs> short yards. Well, they did. A third and two. <laughs> Somebody's pitching a shutout at Buffalo. Bills are leading Cincinnati 5 0. <laughs> Fazakowicz. In his second year from Missouri, drops to throw and lofts the ball downfield right to the wrong guy. Picked off by the New York Jets cornerback Bobby Jackson. And so the Jets get the ball back and they'll be running the ball to keep that clock moving with a 23 10 lead. Uh, Jackson played that pass perfectly. He was running to the post before Mel Gray was running to the post. He just read it perfectly. You see the throw going up and look who's open. Bobby Jackson's open. Another turnover for the Cardinals. Stay with a lot of teams, can't with that uh, yeah. long scoring threat. The Jets, the big problem the Jets had, I think, was the only game they got blown out was against Buffalo. How much depth? Well, they beat did they Buffalo have? twice. Have they? No. Yeah. Beat them 45 14. Oh, was that the. Well, who that, who they lost 28 to Seattle. Seattle. Lost to Seattle. They lost by 11 to Pittsburgh. That was their worst loss. Stay on that shot, Marv. Bud Wilkinson, new to the Cardinals as every football fan knows, but certainly not new to winning in football. 17 seasons at Oklahoma, 13 years. They were the conference champion, three national championships, four unbeaten teams. But so far it is 0-7 going on 0-8 in the NFL as the Jets continue to lead. And here's Robinson firing a long ball down to Wesley Walker. Kyle Allen had it and lost it. And there's a penalty flag down. And they point it right at Wesley Walker of the Jets. That was a very, very smart play by Carl Allen. That, you know, that's a seasoned veteran cornerback doing what he did. He just read Walker coming down all the way. And what he did is just stepped in front of him and made Walker run at his speed, which is when a guy's running 4-3, you have to do. The only thing he didn't do was catch a football. He, that's when it, the problem, when you're going badly, everything goes badly, and uh, he had an opportunity to do the same thing that Bobby Jackson just did for the Jets. Kind of surprised that uh, Mel Matt Robinson put the ball up on first down. You see the penalty being marked off against the Jets, but Allen should have made the interception. Pass interference, 86, offense, first down. 85, Cal. <laughs> Wesley Walker, you're close. So it'll be first and 20 on the penalty. The Jets with the ball at their 13 yard line. And up goes to Kevin Long. Another penalty marker down. They're going to keep Aaron's flags. Dry him out. Arneson was on the tackle. Another hard one for Mark Arneson. Signals against the Jets. That's holding. No question about that. But the big thing is here, another penalty puts the Jets back around their five-yard line. And if the Cardinals could just force a turnover here, they could get real, you know, great field position, score quickly, and be back in the game only six down. They need to make something happen. 72. Walt offense, Michaels. Kennedy decline. Second down. His team closing in on a halfway mark of five and three. The Jets have won but three games the last three years. They've been 3-11, 3-11, 3-11. 
Michaels was the coach of the defense defensive coordinator of the year the Jets won the Super Bowl and they won it with defense despite the acclaim that Namath got for the quarterbacking it was the defense that got the Jets to the Super Bowl as Nick remembers I'll go along with that offense gets the glory defense does the work Kansas City leading the Cleveland Browns 10 to 3 at the half Kansas City with one win and six losses through its first seven games playing at home against the Cleveland Browns a club has taken a couple of tough losses this year. The Jets says this warm October afternoon wears on break the huddle with a little less snap. 940 in the clock running left to play in the game. Robinson looking long double pump fakes Walker is out there. Well, oh, might have been tipped but he had the defense beaten and Robinson had the ball there. What tremendous speed he has. He just outruns the secondary then just couldn't quite catch up with the ball. He had the ball took his eye off of it. But look at the throw. He runs right through the zone defense. Just a tad under thrown here. He had to turn his head completely around to catch the ball. The ball was thrown over the wrong shoulder but actually ran through the zone. Looked like Roger Worley might have had a little piece of the ball, but brings up fourth down now for the Jets, and Chuck Rams is into punt. He's standing back inside his five. Willard Harrell back at the 42-yard line. He'll get good, almost blocked by the Cardinals. Ball takes a hop over Willard's head. He's got to let it run. Tell you something, he may have gotten a piece of that football. Ball came out very strangely. Tim Carney was through. So the Cardinals go back on offense with 919 left to play in the game. They trail the Jets 23 to 10 after tying them at the half 10-10. But Buttle 51 is a like a young Buckus. Jim Bakken pressed into duty as a putter as well as a place kicker for the Cardinals because of a leg injury to Steve Little. Working on a step into the kick a little bit on the sideline. Right now it's first and ten for the St. Louis Cardinals. Ball at their 43-yard line. Pitch back goes to Otis. Handoff goes, and here comes Mel Gray. Boy, does that look good. Mel Gray puts his shoulder in and drives for a couple of extra yards down to the 40. A gain of 17 yards and a first down. Ken Shroy knocked him out of bounds. There's that reverse we've been looking for. Looks like he's going to take off. Mel Gray runs Pitch so back to Otis, who hands back to Gray, coming <laughs> to back Billy to Motor. the other side. Had a lot of blocking. The great ones, their feet barely touch the ground. They're so light. Lowers his shoulder, pounding that about linebacker. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> That's a good call. Just before we broke for commercials, Sonny predicted we should bring it back, and they did. That's his third of the season. He's averaging over 20 yards per reverse. Kozakowicz looking downfield just too long. The coverage was good, and that usually is what results in sacks when there's nobody to throw to, and you've got to wait that extra second. Pillars was the first through to hit him. Well, he was looking for his backs coming out of the backfield. He had both Otis. And Mars come out of the backfield and the linebackers just stayed with him so well that for wisely held down to the football taking a at least a 10 yard loss. 
Greg Buttle, the big tough outside linebacker from Penn State, calls defensive signals for the Jets. Buttle is number 51. Strong and quick. Very physical player. He pounds people like Dick Butkus used to for the Chicago Bears. Second and a long, long yardage. Second and 20. And Kazakowicz is chopped down again. The Jets come with a blitz and a three-man down lineman and one linebacker. And that is more. than the Cardinal blockers can handle. John Hennessy was coming hard in a blitz. Kazakowicz has thrown the ball 16 times, six completions, 90 yards, two interceptions. I mean, that's what you say. Welcome to the league. You're behind. You got to put the ball up. Clocks against you, and everybody's coming after you. I think right now all he has to do go back, cock the arm, throw as long as he could, and pray. It gets to be longer and longer. The yardage. Third down coming up now. About 30. Zakowicz for intentional grounding. Regardless if a man is in the area, if you throw the ball to the ground, trying to save yardage, is what the Zark does here. He's back. They read the screen. He had nobody to throw to. Right up the middle, he's getting rushed. Fleco comes. And he throws the ball away, trying to save the loss of yardage, and he gets called for it. Transition from truck driver to defensive end was made very smoothly by Joe Clayton. Illegal Clayton. forward pass, intentional grounding, quarterback, It'll loss of down, fourth down. It'll be difficult for Bocking to kick the ball back for first down here because he's a lot of yards away, 20, 30, 40 yards for first down. He may not well, be able to kick it that far. I'll run that by <laughs> me once more. <laughs> How is he going to be able to kick it that far? Fourth and 40. Kicks the ball downfield on the punt. It's going to roll down. And comes inside the 35 and down to the 32-yard line. Great. Great punt by Bakken. The guy who never punted before. That's right, but the ball would did not even roll as much as a first down. <laughs> And so the Jets go back on offense in command of the football game 23 to 10 as we have eight minutes left to play. We'll be back in a moment. Getting back to uh, Manhattan. How are you getting back to Manhattan? Cab, I guess. Yeah, it's hard to get a cab out here. Is it? Oh, you can awesome. get one. You can get one out of here. I have had problems. I got to get back with a cab. Unless Mr. Will is going back. Chuck, are you going back to Manhattan? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we both need to ride. Who's this guy? Richard. 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 Brand Tarkin has just thrown three yards to Ahmad Rashad for a touchdown. Minnesota Vikings 14, Green Bay Packers 7, second quarter. 24 seconds left to play in the first half there. The Jets are only 3 of 12 on third down conversions in this game so far. The same as the Cardinals, but the Jets have the score, and right now they have a first down. They're leading 23-10. Put up some backup troops in. Darnell Powell runs the ball for the Jets and runs it well out to the 38-yard line. One edge that the Cardinals have in this game right now is in penalty yards. Jets have been penalized 45 yards and the Cardinals 70 yards, and those penalties have really hurt them. They have been at crucial times that have hurt the Cards more than anything else in the game. Uh, they, a couple of times right at crucial situations. Powell 
Powell turns the corner, coming across to make the hit on him was Ron Yankowski. Darnell Powell. Now in his eighth year out of Kansas State. Balls advance to the 40-yard line, close to a first down. It'll bring up third and about a yard for the New York Jet. The ball just across their 40. The game clock shows 7.03 to play down at Tampa, Florida. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers extending their lead over the Chicago Bears, 26 to 16. Doug Williams just threw to Nick, one of your old teammates, Morris. Morris Owens. Owens. Where's number 85? 40-yard touchdown pass. Bears on their way to their fifth straight loss if they don't pull out of that one. Kevin Long is hit, spins off, and now there are blockers in front of him. And Long gets the first down and more as the Cardinals had the play stopped. Carl Allen and Kevin Long start up. Little fisticuffs on the sideline. Obviously, Kevin Long didn't like what happened to him as he was dragged out of bounds. But the officials quickly gained control of the ball game, which they do so effectively. But when you're playing defense and you make a play like that where you stop a guy in the backfield you penetrate and it looks like you have the whole play stopped and all of a sudden you look up and there he goes running the other way for first down it really takes the gas out of you watch right here stopped at the line of scrimmage big hit bounces off and scrambles the other side to make the first down very disheartening to the card defense oh that is they had the play stopped. And then Long goes back the other way and gets room to run for a first down. Durking runs the ball, not for very much. On the play was Mike Dawson, number 73. Our producer here today is Chuck Will, our director, Marv Muse, our spotter, Bill Friel. As we have the clock winding down and the Jets moving towards one of their most successful seasons of the 1970s. They were a championship caliber team in the late 60s and early 70s, won a lot. Then this franchise came apart and so They'll get no mercy. Will the Cardinals and the New York Jets They'll score 50 if they can? They've been down this road. Walt Michaels remembers the old days when they didn't win too often. Reverse, Derek Gaffney. Look out. Arneson's taken off the play. Gaff gets across the 50 yard line. That whole thing resulted in a gain of about two yards. But East and West, when you consider all that, to ran 70. Boy, this is a play. Same thing the Cardinals have been doing, running the reverse with Gaffney. The same exact play they ran with Gray. But watch this. It chasing it down. Almost threw it for a big loss. Mark Arneson does. Gets knocked off. And they come all the way back and uh, get back almost to the line of scrimmage. Looks like he ran out of bounds. So that's a net loss of five yards. And it could have been thrown for a 15-yard loss. And it brings up third down and 12. Bruce Harper, only 180 pounds, 5 feet 7 inches tall, shoots straight ahead. He got 10. He'll be short of a first down. The blitz is on. Now watch the trap blocking. This is what you like to do. You've, you've got a great block by Fields, the center, and Harper just spins up the middle right behind that blocking and runs with power. Running over Stone, finally brought down, fourth down and one yard to go, but that's what you like to do is split the blitzing linebackers, what the Jets did right there. Yeah, but you had third and 12 with a lead of 23 to 10. That's the difference. You had third and 12 trailing 23 to 10. You run the same play and it gets stopped in the backfield. Chuck Ramsey into punt again now for the Jets. Willard Harrell back for the St. Louis Cardinals. Ramsey unloads into the end zone. Touchback. Cardinals get the ball at their 20. 4.45 left to play. And oh, there is a penalty marker down, Nick. What was that one, Sonny? That penalty. I didn't see anybody move. It's been a man going downfield. Illegal man going downfield. But I'll tell you something. Ramsey's pumped up today the way he's hitting that football. Well, he said this is the best day he's seen for punting at Shea Stadium. It's usually yeah, the wind is so bad. Very unbelievable win here, he said, because it's an it turns downfield. An eligible Off man downfield. Penalty decline. First down. He said most of the time it, it's 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 hard to figure the win, and that's what the big problem is here. But today is a perfect day. 
Right now, we have a break in the action before the Cardinals go on offense, trailing 23 to 10. The game clock shows 4.45 left to play. Good stats. Eight out of 25, 77. San Diego's coming back. It's 31-14. All right, they're on the move. The Chargers in the fourth quarter, a touchdown <laughs> pass. You're never out of it until the final gun. Dan Fouts to John Jefferson. Will you accept that, Marv? 67 yards. Thank you. You, you are when right. you give him seven half points. <laughs> Here come the Cardinals out of the huddle as at Pontiac, Michigan, the Detroit Lions continue to lead the favorite San Diego Chargers, 31-14. Every week, we have upsets. Steve Jones runs with the ball, gets it out to about the 23-yard line. Bob Martin made the tackle for the New York Jets as Bezarkowitz looks to the sideline. One of the things a young quarterback has to do, you look at the great names in quarterbacking like John Unitas, Sonny Jurgensen, Bark Star, Tim Van Gelder. <laughs> Tim's a pal of ours. It's a KMOX TV, a sportscaster in St. Louis. Very good one. You've got to include him with it, don't you? <laughs> He's a heck of a guy. How many years did he play? You better send me some for Christmas now, Van Gelder. <laughs> Here's a throw down the middle, and Mel Gray has the ball. He's out to the 47 yard line. But Zuckerwitz right on the money. Well, what a good catch he makes, too. Everybody back waiting for the throw, realizing Steve has to throw the football. Boy, he makes a good long throw, the crossing pattern over the linebackers, but he threw the ball with a lot of authority. You know, Mel Gray, it. Mel Gray is just a, a real pro because that was not an easy catch. The linebacker went up, Whoa, had his hand right. up, and almost looked like it was deflected. He hung right with it all the way. Zarkowitz in the flat gets the ball over to Wayne Morris who puts a little dance move on a little disco step on John Hennessy to no avail. That's twice they've used that play with very little success. They played it well each time. They run a little slant with the outside receiver run Morris in the flat. They've played it well. They've had to go to Morris both times. That step he used over on the sidelines Sonny looked like you at Studio 54. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Good place for you. A lot of sane people running around there. <laughs> Second and 12. Bezarkowitz leans in and boy, that ball hopped back about 12 yards. Almost looked like the immaculate reception of <laughs> Franco, Franco Harris. Harris. That was good coverage by Bobby Jackson, the rookie out of Florida State. There's a guy who runs legitimate 4-3, but all they're doing is hanging off. They're not going to get beat deep. They're going to sit back there. If they're going to catch anything, they're going to let it catch him in front of them. So this way here, the clock gets eaten up as they make the reception. Zarkowitz fires and Mel Gray is there again. Look at him rip up the middle right into the heart of the pass defense ready to hit him and he gets the ball down to the 25 yard line. Three minutes left to go and the Cardinals moving on the right arm of Pizarczyk and the receiving of Mel Gray. And look at this again the same type of pattern coming across getting in between the deep backs as Nick said they're dropping off so deeply now that you have that little area that intermediate zone over the linebackers in between the deep backs and right now that's where Mel Gray is going and that's what Steve Pizarkowicz is throwing. Mel Gray with four receptions for over 100 yards for the Cardinals.
Bizarre takes a look into the end zone. Too much on it. Well, Mel Gray's limping, Don. He came out earlier, Nick. He was, uh, I think he has a pull there that he's fighting back from. What he tried to do is go to the inside, and they jammed him a little bit. I, I didn't think you could after five yards, but they hit him, and he couldn't get on track again. He was running a little hook and go pattern, kind of curling in, rolling back out to get the touchdown. He's coming out, and Jim Childs has gone in for him. He may have pulled a hamstring. Bizarre lets her rip over the middle. Tilly was running an in pattern. So was Jim Childs is in the game. And he that. Had, excuse me, Don. If he had the ball down, then he'd had a completion. They both had a step. Bob Thomas has just kicked a field goal, and Tampa Bay now leads Chicago by a 26 to 19 count. It missed extra points in that game. Could be a factor in the end result. Giants holding to a 17 to 6 lead over Washington in the fourth quarter. Dallas leading Philadelphia 14 nothing in the second quarter. Kansas City over Cleveland 10 3. Second quarter Buffalo leads Cincinnati 5 nothing second quarter. Zarkowitz looks throws man is open. And it could be good for a first down the tight end L Chandler running a pattern over the middle gets a first down 13 yard line. Real good play here watch that quickly. Steve throws the football to the tight end. Chandler sets up. Pillars coming right down his face as he has to deliver the football. Makes a real good throw, but I think we're going to have a penalty on the play. Like they say, it goes for naught. I think they call face masking on one of the offensive linemen of the Cardinals. Face mask, 62, offense, third down. Keith Wortman. Playing tackle today. Called for a face mask violation. You know, what do you have to do to get a break? What do you have to do to get a break? You, when you're behind and you haven't won a game, everything gets called against you. Every holding penalty gets called. Every clipping penalty gets called. Nothing's going right. I think they're going to run a corner pattern to Pat Tilly right now. Third down and 15 from the 30. They pick up the blitz. Here is a throw, and Jim Childs has it. He's got a first down of the seven-yard line. Jim Childs, a rookie from Cal Poly, and a perfectly thrown ball by Pizarkowitz. Boy, this kid has got a nice arm. Boy, this was a good throw by Steve. He makes an excellent throw here. Good protection. You know something? Nick was right. They did run a corner pattern, but he cleared the area out for Jim Childs. He catches the ball. He does get the first down. There's still plenty of time left. So when we come back, the Cardinals will be challenging. Take it in here. They get the ball back on a turnover. Throw a 60-yard scoring pass. That's a different ball game. <laughs> well, yeah, you got to say that. How do you know? Yeah. Let's hypothecate just a second here. If they score, if and Mel Gray Fox. has a miracle recovery of his hamstring, Poe comes out on the field, yeah. gets a tip reflection off Jackson for six. If Paul Frogs had wings, they wouldn't have to hop. Well, he could be at the overtime if Jim Bakken misses the extra point. But the <laughs> Mets, the Mets, when they were going bad, they used to be, be, be behind like eight to four in the ninth inning. Batter come up for the Mets and they have a tying run as a third. Somebody got a football here at Chase Stadium. I thought those were all your kids, Don. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got 11. 49,000 are in the house today. Draw play, Wayne Morris. Down to the five yard line. A gain of only two. I'm becoming a factor now. 155 to play. And the Cardinals signal for and are allotted one of their three timeouts here in the second half.
Now we'd like to thank some of our fine people who've helped us so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Our producer, <laughs> Chuck Will. Thank you, thank you, thank Director you, Director Marvin Muse. Associate producer, the lovely Joan Vitrano. Good pies on. Good pies. Artie <laughs> Tint. <laughs> and on we go. Spotter, Bill Friel. Stage manager, Randy Hill. Boy, he did a good job today, didn't he? Get that. <laughs> Dogs with sauerkraut out in front of you a little bit ago. <laughs> That's right. Sonny never would have made it without those hot dogs. Need that sustenance. <laughs> you have mustard on your microphone. Two timeouts remaining for each team. Bud say, well, when I was back in Oklahoma, we used to run the option play down here on the five yard line. Unfortunately, they only have a minute and 55 seconds, and they can't afford time. Even if they score here, they're using up timeouts. If they use too many of them, the Jets will just run the clock out. So they can't afford to take the timeouts. Pasarkowitz has already used up one. If you're going to win the football game, you got to put it in the end zone and stop the clock with an incompletion or a touchdown. That's right. You throw here, Sonny, right? Oh, I, I think so. If you run the ball and you don't make it, you got to use another timeout. Jets are jamming those linebackers. They might be coming on the blitz. They're going to throw, and here comes the blitz, and he gets it away, and it's incomplete at the five-yard line. Steve Jones, a low pass, couldn't hold on. I don't think a play-action pass is a call here. Going to a play-action pass, everybody realizes you have to get in. Why are you faking a run and then throwing the football? Give me a better chance to go back and look and see where I want to throw it. Here's an unlikely final. Buffalo five, Cincinnati nothing. Five to nothing. Tom Seaver get the loss. Joe Ferguson got the win, and <laughs> the Bengals are their 0 and 8. That's right. Kazarkowitz <laughs> guns the ball into the end zone, beating the blitz that was coming at him incomplete. I'm telling you something, Chandler had a legitimate gripe then. He was in the end zone, and with the contact was still being made with Chandler as he pushed his man off. If we might be able to pick it up here, but his man still had a contact with him, and the ball is outside of the five-yard line. He was being pushed. He stopped, and that's what he's pointing at right now. He's over the five-yard zone. The man should not be allowed to do that. They had right. a safety blitz on that time also. Fourth down now for the Cardinals. Kozakowicz throws. Incomplete. The Jets take over the ball. Mike Hennigan put the rush on Steve Kozakowicz. Well, he's got to be a very disappointed young man, Steve, coming off here. He was under a lot of pressure, couldn't find anybody open there. I think the second down call is the one that got him in trouble when he ran a little play action pass and threw it out in the flat. Just ran a play action pass again there, Sonny. I don't understand it. Fourth down and five. The Jets certainly aren't going to be fooled by play action with only a minute and 30 seconds left, knowing that you have to score a touchdown. Drop back, like you say, take a look at the field and go to the man who looks like he's got a shot. So that's why we're up here, Sonny, and that's why they're down there. That's the reason they ran us out of football. Uh, <laughs> yes, he's got to be happy. Walt Michaels, look at this. He's got to be pleased with the way this team is playing, losing his Richard Todd, his number one quarterback. He's also very happy because they have a Polish Pope. <laughs> That's right, his father and the Pope are from the same place in Poland. Same section of Krakow. That's right. The Jets now looking to run out the game as they're deep in their own end, but holding to a commanding 23 to 10 lead. It would not have been so commanding had the Cardinals been able to take it in there. Perhaps try the onside kick, although the Cardinal kicking game is in disarray right now to the injury to Steve Little. Jim Bakken has been forced to come in as the punter, and he would have probably have to kick off. Yeah, you know, the problem with some of these road trips are when you're losing like this and you keep losing week after week, you have to get on that plane. It's a two and a half, three hour flight back to St. Louis from New York, and 
You know, how many times can you rehash your losses when you keep losing week after week? It gets to be old. Not only these men on the field here and the coaching staff and the organization itself, but you have to feel and have some compassion for their families, their wives. That's right. It's and their children back home. They have to live with it too. Tough situation. I've been on losing football teams. I know what it is to go through. Very good point, Sonny. I guess only someone like yourselves who have experienced in the National Football League. But there is one thing, and it sounds like uh, looking for blue sky, there's only one way to go, and that's to get better. I remember Miami, Nick, the one year, Dolphins were 3 10 and 1. Everybody thought they were bums. The next year, Shula came in, they were 10 and 4. That's right. It's just going to take some time, get some people back healthy. The Cardinals will win, but it's going to take a while. Long runs the ball, and more importantly for the Jets, runs the clock. He gets it across the 10-yard line to the 11 as the game clock now winds down to 125 left to play, and St. Louis calls a timeout. Mark Arneson was on the tackle. I guess there's also nothing like winning. You won the, on those two Super Bowl championship teams. That must be some. I tell you what, the first win of the Cardinals this year will seem like the Super Bowl for them. It really does. You're it, right. There, it sir. will. Absolutely. I'll tell you something. It'll be just like a Super Bowl win. <laughs> Is that right? The Giants have defeated the Washington Redskins 17 to 6. An upset there across the river. Tom Bettis giving some instructions. So the Redskins who won their first six have now lost their last two in their Depending on what Dallas does today, it might be in a tie. You know, you really have to look at that. I, I, I've tried to analyze it, being living in Washington. I'll tell you something about that, Don. Joe Walton, who's a signal caller there, is like a pitcher going through the league for the first time. Nobody knows what his favorite pitch is, and now they're getting to. Everybody has a tendency as far as calling plays, and I think possibly people have figured out what Washington wants to do. Well, it's going to be very interesting all season long, particularly with the second wild card team from each conference. Kevin Long fighting for yards, and he gets a first down that will run out the clock for the Jets. They have four more downs now with 1.15 left to play. Talking about that giant game, Don, uh, this is the fourth straight win for the New York Giants over the Washington Redskins right. after losing nine straight. Sparked by 039 for the Miami Dolphins, Larry Zonka. He had a great game last week. Now he did. How, how do you know he, they <laughs> sparked it? I, I could <laughs> tell just by the score. Oh, by the score? Okay. Uh, they're happy here in New York. They're happy for both clubs. They really are. Five and three. Have to be, be a big winning day for the city of New York. The Yankees, Jets. Jets, Giants. Maybe the Knicks will win a game. Why do we have a penalty here? Why does, why does the line become out with 36 seconds left? To delay the inevitable a bit longer, Sonny, as we have 36 seconds on the game clock. You know, it's amazing, though, as a head coach, I, I don't care. It's 36 seconds. Somehow, some way, Bud Wilkinson still has to figure in his mind that something's going to happen. I don't know. It, the man still doesn't look any less interested now. Then when the game started, I mean, he just it totally involved in the ball game. Illegal motion, 61. Offense, penalty declined, second down. He paid his team a compliment on the field before the game to me. He said, and I can't appreciate how much he's, these men have done. They've worked hard. They've never quit. They continue to play. And I just know that things are going to turn around. And uh, when we get everybody healthy, we're going to be a good football team. You can see the importance the Jets attached to what the Cardinals can do as far as comeback. The cardiac cards that they've been on a recent season. They've kept Robinson in there all the way. They've got a guy who hasn't played a down behind him. Pat Ryan, a rookie out of Tennessee. Well, they can stay in the huddle and let it run out. They don't have to run another play, and I think that's what we're going to get. As Shea Stadium erupts here when they realize that uh, they have a winner. It's a big number for New York football to have the Jets and the Giants five and three. The game winds up and congratulations are exchanged as hard fought game. The Cardinals and Jets say hello and goodbye as the competition is over the final score 23 to 10. We'll be back at Chase Stadium in a moment.
Yeah, that was a great shot, but Buttle was uh, telling Pizarquez he did a good job. He had him by the arm out there. Well, that's up not? to you, Joan. What you is, just tell what us is, what is Steve's whatever you need, Joan. As they say, this game is history. It goes down in the NFL highlights. We are back at Shea Stadium in New York where the New York Jets have just won their fifth game of the season defeating the St. Louis Cardinals 23 to 10. The game was tied at the half 10 10. The Cardinals coming out quickly in this game looking for their first win driving the first time they had the ball for a touchdown. And then the Jets taking command outscoring the Cardinals in the second half 13 to nothing although the Cardinals challenged right down to the final possession when Bizarchik was firing the ball into the end zone. And we'll be back with some thoughts on today's game and what the future might hold for these two clubs with Nick Bonacani and Sonny Jurgensen in just a moment. The final score here at New York Jets 23 the Cardinals 10. Sonny? Don't ask me. I'm I love how they spell his name. It's Dexter Duffy. <laughs> Dexter Bussy. Back at Shea Stadium. The final score, the Jets 23, the Cardinals 10. How about it, gents? What is about this football game? What about the future of the Jets? Are they can potentially nick a playoff team? Well, I think their running game is for real. The offensive line is solid. They got great receivers. They're young. They're enthusiastic, and they're ready to play and line up every week. I think they're a legitimate contender, Don. And how long, Sonny? Difficult question. Before the Cardinals might come out on top, they have the Philadelphia Eagles coming up next week at Philadelphia. The Cardinals still snake bitten. I was impressed today with Steve Pasarkowicz. He's, he hung in there, difficult situation getting behind. 10 out of 27 today for 164 yards. The two interceptions did hurt though, but uh, he has to be pleased, but not completely satisfied. All right, now for Nick Bonacani and Sonny Jorgensen, this is Don Crickey saying goodbye from Shea Stadium in New York where the final score is the New York Jets 23, the St. Louis Cardinals 10. The NFL on CBS is a presentation of CBS Sports.